that second row. Jack Patrick, Russ Bartlett back in the third row. Green is out, and down they come off at turn number four, and they scatter coming down the front straightaway. Latula up there in the number one spot. Look at Russ Brown. He made a move down on the inside. Anthony Lasorto, who's got to finish sixth or better, and then that is his event. Right now, Brownie tracing over there in that between turns number three and four. Coming off that fourth corner, it's Latula, Brownie, and Lasorto, top three. Camden Proud right there in the number four spot. And then we got yellow out on the speedway, a car hard into the wall between turns number three and four. It's the number 94. And that simple spin down the back stretch as well, Joe. Brownie still looking for that number one spot, bringing it down the front straightaway. Brad Hain back there, fifth. Dalton Doyle's now moved up to fifth. Dalton is on the move. That's car number 01, just taking away the number five spot. He's got Camden Proud in front of him in the number 54. Camden with a good run tonight in the number four spot. Look to him. His rear end of the car starts kicking out a little bit. Brings it down out of turn four. Rear end of the car kicks out. Coming off that fourth corner. Well, a tulip right there in that number one spot. Mayer remains in control of the car. And right now, Brownie falls off the pace as they move off in turn two. Brownie got up a little bit wide coming off the corner. Anthony Lasorto, he's got some good heat in the Hoosier tire, says he is solid in that number three spot. Camden Proud doing a tenacious job in the number four spot. Right behind him in fifth, it's Brad Haynes. A half a lap to go. Who's it going to be going down? And Brownie goes up onto the outside. Scorers stand by. This one is going to be close. They race coming off in turn number four and down the front straightaway. Dave Latulip takes the win. Russ Brown, Anthony Lasorto, Camden Proud. A good finish for him. He's done it in the double zero small black super. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Dave Latulip. Let's hear it for him. Plenty of hugs to go around. I don't know. I never had to deal with lap traffic like that before. I was just, I was surprised I held him off for that long. You know, the 13 and the 1 have been so fast this year. You know, this is great. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is your first win. Welcome to Victory Lane at Oswego Speedway. What does this mean to you? The funny thing is, this is our second win. Way back in 2011, in the same exact car, we picked up a win, and then it's crazy to be here tonight. Uh, I just got to thank Mark Casilli and Bonnie for the opportunity. Uh, they asked me to drive this car last week, and it's a hell of a ride. Thank you. I don't. I don't even know what to say. This is unreal. This has been a dream of mine since I was started racing quarter midgets when I was four years old. We're Swiggo Speedway Track Champs. How about that, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Lacerdo? Yeah, we're horrible. Um, that's about all there is to be said. The car has been junk for the last three or four weeks, and. Uh, these guys stepped their game up and beat us. It's that simple. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing but first place is going to satisfy Russ Brown. Between three and four off that fourth quarter, Mike Harder throws the green flag, and we are underway here at the Oswego Speedway. Gojo takes the lead as the 83 of LeVay hangs on to the number two spot. Watch it over here's Bellinger down to the inside. Bellinger taking over the number two spot for the 83 of LeVay. Now back in the field now, a lot of hard charging. Tyler Thompson on the outside trying to make a run. It is Gosick out in front, followed by Bellinger, LeVay, then the 11 and the 50. Dave Brule and Eric Iosu continue to run side by side, then in side by side just about an entire lap. Michael Barnes, a little bit of trouble out there on the outside. Over between three and four, gathered up, lost a couple of spots, however. This is the field. We got a spin, and Champagne into the wall. Keith Champagne into the wall. Bobby Bond hard into the foam. A lot of front end damage. Bobby is okay. He is moving around in the car. A lot of front end damage uh, on that number 47. Gets to the inside of Gosick, going down the back straight. Joe went a little bit high over here between one and two. Bellinger got inside him. Here they come battling off the corner again, and Gosick hangs on off that outside run. Gosick hangs on to the number one spot, but he is pushing a little bit down here in turn number one. Iosu right there with the number 11. Here comes Bellinger. This time he's through there. Bellinger made a hard run down into turn three and grabbed the lead. Brandon Bellinger in the 0-2.
Nick Sinderley on the outside of Eric Iosu and Otto Sinderley up to the number two spot. Iosu battling back on the inside. Sinderley outguns him into turn three, takes over the second spot. And the yellow flag is out as the car went around back there. That is Dave Gruel who was running top five. And that is Michael Barnes. Barnes in the 68 heading to the pits. He was running in ninth. He is out of the action. Barnes in the pits. Hunter back down to the inside. Sinderley trying to make a slingshot. Couldn't quite happen. Coming out of turn number two. Back down to the outside. Sinderley on the outside of Bellinger. Bellinger on the inside. Sinderley on the outside. Sinderley is the new leader. Takes the lead on lap number 30. Otto Sinderley on lap number 31, rather, and Bellinger is in trouble. Bellinger heads to the pits in the 0-2. Jackard flag is out. Otto Sinderley, the race winner, the track champion. Eric Iosu finished second. Joe Gosick in third on his night. The deuce of Dave Schulich in fourth. Ladies and gentlemen, not only the feature winner, but the 2018 Novella Super Modified Track Champion, Otto Sitterly, the Desper Otto. Yeah, you know, I, I knew we had to um, just take the green. I mean, Barnsey, uh, tough competitor all year. Had back, bad luck early in the night. Obviously, didn't want to see that. We'd like to race, but, but we knew we were in a good position coming into the night. And um, I just got to thank the best crew in the pits. You know, everybody works hard. Everybody works real hard, but... Um, I think, you know, eight, eight times for these guys um, speaks for itself. I want to, I definitely want to thank every fan that comes here, whether they support me or they, they don't. And uh, they, they come every week and they support this track. And, and the fans, you know, definitely matter to everybody here. That's, that's who we do this for. Uh, to bring it home, not only in one piece, but in second pretty fast for, uh, you know, we, I think we had everyone else covered, but he's just been on a rail all year. He showed me a wheel. There wasn't much I could do about it. I saw, you know, he got up to third or fourth there, wherever we were running in a hurry. So once he showed me a wheel, I tried to race him, but just too much for us tonight. But Iosu Racing really needed this. We've had a pretty bad year, so to get back up on the podium is pretty awesome. Good momentum going into Classic, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, yeah. I think we got a good chance to have another podium, you know, for in the Classic. So... You never know what can happen, it's 200 laps, but the uh, car felt pretty good tonight. I think we dialed it in nice for Classic Weekend. Well, it's more drivable. It's still not as fast as those guys. I, you know, I don't know where we're going to find a half second of speed, but um, I'm happy with that. I mean, that's what we are. We really have a, a fifth place car. I mean, you got to be honest, um, 12 years old against all this brand new stuff. I, you know, I don't think we got what they have. Um, you know, we're happy with that. That run going into Classic is good, a top five. You know, maybe right in around there is good, good weekend. 